in previous class we have discussed about problems on self and mutual inductance problems on self and mutual inductance the main objective the objective of today class is nothing but on the completion of this period <coughs> you would be able to know you would be able to know the definition of coefficient of coupling the definition of coefficient of coupling coupling the coefficient of coupling is denoted with the k denoted with the k <coughs> the relation between the mutual inductance and coefficient of coupling the relation between mutual inductance of mutual inductance and the coefficient of coupling the m and the k <coughs> so this is the main objective of today class the first objective is nothing but the definition of coefficient of coupling and the second objective nothing but the relation between the mutual inductance m and the coefficient of coupling k next what is the mutual flux what is the mutual flux the definition of mutual flux consider two coils placed adjacent to each other <coughs> consider we have to two coils the that is the coil a and b we have to place near to each other or adjacent to each other what is the self flux what is the self flux so that is the uh, self induced emf so if the current flows in a coil one a flux is set off a flux is set off in it a flux is set up in it and this flux is called as self flux this is flux is called as the self flux self flux next what is the mutual flux what is the mutual flux if the current flows in a coil 1 the current flows in a coil 1 a flux is set up in it a flux is set up in it and a the part of this flux will be linked with the other coil with link with the other coil so this this is common flux is linking both coil is called as the mutual flux this is called as the mutual flux next what is the leakage flux what is the leakage flux the flux of one coil the flux of one coil a flux of one coil <coughs> which does not at all link with the other coil a flux of one coil which does not at all link with the other coil r flux that links only one coil is called as leakage flux is called as leakage flux next self flux or total flux what is the self flux or total flux so the leakage flux or mutual flux mutual flux and mutual flux is called as the self flux or total flux so here the mutual flux is the setup Uh, due to the current flow in the neighbor coil due to the current flow in the neighbor coil so here <coughs> so this is called as the mutual flux and the some flux will be leakage some flux will be leakage so that is called as the leakage flux and mutual flux is called as the total flux or self flux total flux or self flux next leakage flux what is the leakage flux the flux of one coil the flux of one coil which does not at all links with the other coil whenever current flowing through the coil the flux will be set up the flux will be set up if current flowing in the coil the flux will be set up in it so this is called as the self flux this is called as the self flux so the this flux will be all flux are the not linking with the coil some flux are the losing some flux are the losing some flux are the losing so that this flux is called as the that flux is called as the leakage flux anga 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 so this is called as the leakage flux this is called as the avata 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 ta tangi dai लारा रे जाता तार लारा
அத்தாத்து ஹரியம ஆ ஆ ஆ ஆ ஒத்த ஒரு முனா முனாக ஒத்த ஓ ஏரியா இருக்குது ஒத்த ஒத்த தா டாங்கி டாங்கி வரிசி ஓடி ஓடி ஒத்த ஒத்த If leakage flux is zero, then the two coils are side to the have the strong coupling, the strong coupling between them, between them. What is the coefficient of coupling? What is the coefficient of coupling? Mm. It is the defined as the fraction of magnetic flux. It is defined as the fraction of magnetic flux produced by the current in one coil that link link to the other coil link to the other coil it is denoted by the letter k it is denoted with the letter k it is denoted with the with k constant proportionality k next here the k is equal to the mutual flux here the k is, is defined as the ratio of mutual flux to total flux the ratio of mutual flux to total flux is called as coefficient of coupling is called as coefficient of coupling so here the total flux is equal to total flux is equal to mutual flux plus leakage flux mutual flux plus leakage flux mutual flux per leakage flux is called as the total flux is called as a is called as total flux when the entire flux the when the entire flux of the one coil entire flux of the one coil links with the other link with the other then the k equal to 1 the k equal to 1 then the k equal to 1 as leakage flux leakage flux pi l which is equal to 0 when the entire flux one of the coil link with the other coil that is equal to coefficient of coupling equal to 1 is there then the leakage flux is the zero then the leakage flux is the zero and the mutual inductance between the two coil will be also maximum then the <coughs> mutual inductance between the coil will also be maximum if the flux of the one of the coil if flux of the one of the coil does not at all link with the other coil with the other coil then the coefficient of coupling equal to 0 the coefficient of coupling equal to 0 and the mutual inductance between the coil will be also 0 they will be also 0 with the flux of the one coil is does not link at all does not at all link with the other coil then the k equal to 0 then the k equal to 0 and the mutual inductance between the coil will be also be 0 this the greater value of k greater value of k the greater is mutual inductance between the two coil that is the k value is very high the k value is very high the mutual inductance between the two coil the mutual inductance between the two coils will be maximum two, two coils will be maximum next here the smaller value lesser value of k is there then the lesser and the smaller value of mutual inductance between the two coil mutual inductance between the two coil so here the self inductance and mutual inductance and leakage flux self inductance and mutual inductance and leakage flux and leakage flux here uh, coil core is there here here 
the core is there so this is the mag uh, this is a co core and on the core here two two winding is there that is the one is the uh, one winding is connected with the one connected with the this core so this is the coil one and the other winding is called the coil two other winding is called the coil two so these are the two coil these are the two coil so the coil one and the coil two coil one and the coil two so in coil one the current is flowing in coil one the current is flowing then the flux is set up the flux will be set up the flux will be set up so this coil is having the number of turns this coil having number of turns and one number of turns next the second coil is having the n2 number of turns n2 number of turns next in the second coil in first coil is current flowing is the i1 in the second coil current flowing through the coil 2 is the i2 current flowing the i2 then <coughs> here in first coil the flux is flux is uh, flowing so thus flux is called as the pi 1 pi 1 1 pi 1 1 next in the second next second coil so coil 2 here the flux is produced is called as a pi 2 2 next self and leakage and mutual flux self and leakage and mutual flux what the self and leakage and mutual flux what the self and mutual and leakage flux here so here pi 1 1 is called as the leakage flux of coil 1 and this flux is does not link with coil 2 and links only coil 1 is called as the leakage flux of the coil 1 that is the pi 1 1 pi 1 1 pi 1 1 next similarly pi 2 2 here pi 2 2 is called as the leakage flux of the coil 2 leakage flux of the coil 2 here leakage flux of the coil 2 so here uh, this flux is does not link with the coil 1 and it links only coil 2 it will be link only coil 2 so here the coil 2 is equal to here the coil 2 is equal to <coughs> so pi 1 2 here pi 1 2 pi 1 2 that is the link the flux will be linked between coil 1 and coil 2 which is equal to pi 2 1 also pi 2 1 pi 2 1 which is equal to maximum flux which is equal to maximum flux is a maximum flux so here uh, here m, pi m is called as the mutual flux here pi m is called as the mutual flux here the flux will be maximum in between the coil 1 and the coil 2 so this is called as a mutual flux that links both coil 1 and coil 2 coil 1 and coil 2 then the self flux of the coil 1 is pi 1 which is equal to pi 1 1 plus pi 1 2 which is also equal to pi 1 1 plus mutual flux mutual flux then the self flux of the coil then the self flux of the coil then the self flux of the coil 1 is coil 1 and coil 2 is equal to pi 2 is equal to pi 2 2 plus pi 2 1 pi 2 2 plus pi 2 1 which is equal to pi 2 2 plus mutual flux pi 2 2 plus mutual flux Yes, the relation between the mutual flux, mutual inductance and self-inductance, mutual inductance and self-inductance. Here, you know that the formula for expression for self-inductance, L i L1 is equal to N1 into pi 1 by I1, N1 into pi 1 by I1, N1 into pi 1 by I1. Next, the self inductance, self inductance, self inductance. Hey, Vamsi Virat, good catch. <coughs> L2 is equal to, L2 is equal to uh, N2 into pi 2 by 
i2 m2 into pi2 by n2 i2 so let the k1 is a coefficient of coupling coefficient, coefficient of coupling k1 is equal to mag, mutual plex by plex pi1 plex pi1 here plex pi1 nothing but the plex is produced in while 1 the plex is produced in pi1 and <coughs> coefficient of coupling coefficient of coupling k2 is which is equal to mutual flux by the flux linking with the coil 2 which flux linking with the coil 2 so then l1 and l2 which is equal to the multiplication of l1 and l2 l1 and l2 l1 and l2 which is equal to n1 into pi1 by i1 into n2 into pi2 by i2 which is equal to n1 into pi, pi m by i1 into k1 into n2 into pi m by i2 into k2 which is equal to which is equal to which is equal to 1 by k1 into k2 1 by k1 into k2 1 by k1 into k2 into m by i1 into n1 into pi m by i2 n1 into pi m by i2 then l1 and l2 then l1 and l2 then l1 and l2 is equal to then l1 and l2 is equal to here m square by k1 into k1 into k2 k1 into k2 k1 into k2 then the m is equal to then the m equal to m is equal to k into under root of l1 into l2 under root of l1 into l2 where the k, k is equal to under root of l1 m by that is the m by m by k1 into k2 m by k1 into k2 so this is called as the coefficient of coupling this is called as the coefficient of coupling this is called a coefficient of coupling so the normally the k is less than 1 the k is less than 1 the meaning that the leakage flux cannot be avoided in practice so here the k1 k is normally k is less than 1 k is less than 1 so which is equal to this meaning of the leakage flux cannot be avoided in practice Next, the problems on the problems on coefficient of coupling, coefficient of coupling and mutual inductance. <coughs> so here, coefficient of coupling between the two coil, coefficient of coupling between the two coil, v is 0.6 is 0.6 is 0.6. Then the exerted the coil is produced. The exerted coil is produced 0.1 Weber. 0.1 Weber. Mm. Of the magnetic flux, how much flux is coupled to the? How much flux will be coupled to the other coil? How much flux will be coupled to the other? coil and what is the value of leakage flux what is the value of leakage flux what is the value of leakage flux <coughs> so here the given data there are k equal to 0 0.6 here the k equal to 0 0.6 is the total flux and total flux are self flux total flux are self flux flux pi 1 equal to 0 0.1 weber 0 0.1 weber next we know that the k equal to coefficient of coupling coefficient of coupling that is the k is equal to coefficient of coupling the k is equal to so that is the 
the ratio of mutual flux to total flux ratio of mutual flux to total flux so then we will get then mutual flux equal to 0.6 into total flux so the total flux then the mutual flux is equal to 0.6 into total flux equal to 0.1 then we will get the mutual flux 0.06 weber 0.06 weber next the recall here we have to uh, remains we have to define also is called as a total flux which is equal to mutual flux plus leakage flux mutual flux plus leakage flux as the leakage flux is equal to the leakage flux is equal to here the total flux into total flux minus mutual flux total flux minus mutual flux mm -hmm. here the total flux equal to 0.1 the mutual flux equal to here the mutual flux is equal to 0.06 0.06 then we will get the leakage flux equal to 0.04 0.04 weber so we have to find the value of we have to find the value of mutual flux we have to find the value of mutual flux then we will get we have to find the value of mutual flux <coughs> then here in today class we have to discuss about in today class we have to discuss about the mutual mutual in mutual inductance m is equal to k into under root of l1 into l2 k into under root of l1 into l2 where the k is called as the coefficient of coupling where k is called as the coefficient of coupling next l1 and l2 l1 and l2 are self inductance of a two coil and m is the mutual inductance between the mutual inductance between the maximum value of k we have is 1 the minimum value of k is 0 minimum value equal to 0 here which question also is given which question is also given the coefficient of coupling is given by option a equal to k is equal to m by under root 4 into l2 option b is equal to option b is equal to here the m into under root l1 and l2 option c is equal to under root l1 l2 by m option d is equal to none of the above so here option b is correct answer m into under root l1 and l2 under root l1 and l2 Quiz question second quiz question is nothing but here the coefficient of coupling the coefficient of coupling value is k equal to 1 the coefficient of coupling value is k equal to 1 the coefficient of coupling value k equal to 1 then option a equal to the coil is side by 2 tightly coupled option b is coil is to be Usually coupled option C is none of the above. If the coil is side to be loosely coupled is there, then the flux will be leakage. The flux will be leakage. So here, here coefficient of coupling is k equal to 1, that is the maximum flux. That is the maximum flux. Then <coughs> here the coil is side to be tightly coupled. Then the coil is side to be the coil will be said to be some frequently asked question some frequently asked question is given that defines the coefficient of coupling so here yeah, the first question is nothing but coefficient of
how much flux is coupled how much flux should be coupled to the other coil are the two questions in there uh, how to uh, read and prepare well for the coefficient of coupling here the coefficient of coupling which is adjoint with the k which is adjoint with the k the relation between the mutual inductance and coefficient of coupling k and self inductance l1 and l2 self inductance l1 and l2 so here the relation ratio of mutual flux to total flux the ratio of mutual flux to total flux so here from this expression here total flux is equal to mutual flux plus leakage flux mutual flux plus 